Yeah. We are in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, at Fresh's and Gunnu's training facility. We arrived from Las Vegas on October 9th, 2023. We've been here for about nine days. We're acclimated and we're ready to go October 28th. Maybe we should, maybe we should, maybe we should do Vegas like this. <laughs> He's a predator for a reason. And it doesn't take much. He's very smart. He understands his body very well. So technique wise, that's it makes my life a lot easier. He understands technique and stuff. So when I can really put something on him, I can put it on him hard and it's not gonna affect anything. And he's really just a real true competitor. And so when I'm like, well, I need this many rounds in 30, 45 minutes. And he just goes and he just always tries to outdo what I say. As long as the program for this game, one of the biggest one was like, uh, to have a strong base, uh, a strong stand, you know, work on my uh, on my quad to to have a good stand. Also, like work in order to like have a good um, uh, footwork, which um, include like all the low, low body workout, the movement and everything, uh, the cardio conditioning. Hey, yeah. Voilà, on sort de l'axe. Oui, oui. Allez, allez. Allez, allez, 5 secondes. 5. Allez, 2, 1, relâche. On se déplace, on se déplace. C'est ça, on sort de l'axe. La première fois que j'ai vu Francis, il voulait absolument boxer. Et euh, je l'avais déconseillé de le faire parce que la boxe en France, euh, c'est pas trop ça. C est, c est, elle reste populaire, mais en termes d'organisation, on n'est pas en mesure de proposer quelque chose de vraiment intéressant pour une personne comme Francis, qui est un poids lourd. Donc, euh, il s'est engagé dans la boxe, dans le MMA. Et puis, à ce moment-là, moi, pour moi, je ne pensais pas du tout qu'il serait capable de pouvoir revenir et repartir à la boxe anglaise. You also have to know is you are not going there to fight a mobile, a immobile uh, target. You're going to fight a mobile target that will be dodging your punches. How much can you throw even though you're getting exhausted? So then we talk about cardio. We talk about endurance, about, uh, yes, muscles endurance. So all those levels are very important. You know, if, there, if you're going to say anything about Francis, um, you know, you can talk about his knockout power and, you know, his athleticism and everything else. But to me, his strongest attribute is, is going to be his, his mentality. That's the thing that, um, you know, I've been around a lot of champions. Now I've been fortunate to be around a lot of champions. But the one thing that stands out to me when you compare them all is, is, is Francis's mentality and his mental fortitude. The conversations that we have on talking about his goal is he doesn't really care about his weight and stuff like that. We're, when people talk about boxing and weight and all that stuff, he just he told me, Trip, I want to be the strongest and most in shape that I've ever been in my life. Done. That's all you had to tell me. Done. Depuis qu'on est arrivé ici, on a fait différents sparring. Et euh, ce qui est très intéressant, c'est qu'au fur et à mesure des sparring, eh bien Francis a vraiment bien, 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 bien développé de nouvelles aptitudes et euh, il a énormément progressé. We've seen Francis really elevate his performances in sparring and in training in general in the last few weeks. Um, I think really from us leaving 12 weeks in Las Vegas and coming out here to Saudi Arabia has reinvigorated Francis. 
for several reasons. Because first of all, we're getting closer to the fight. It's real and, and it's getting closer and closer. But more importantly, his family's around. Uh, he's a family man. He loves his family. And this is the first time ever in all these training camps he's had with us and even before that his family is around to witness it. So I really feel I attribute his family being here for the reason of, of the uh, energy boost. I, for the first time, I'm going to have a lot of people in the arena that will be my family, my friend. Uh, my fellow Cameroonian who will come to support me, African who will come to support me uh, freely. And uh, yeah, I know it's going to be electric. Francis a été né et il était différent des autres en enfants. De... Tout ce qu'il faisait était toujours différent des autres enfants. Mais ce qu'il faisait, les même à 5 ans, il faisait la, ce qu'un enfant de 10 ans peut le faire. Mm -hmm. Il n'était jamais brutal. Il n'aimait pas la bagarre. Mais il pouvait lutter même avec les bananiers en brut. Il faisait tout ce qui concernait la force. Mais il ne luttait pas. Même comme il allait puiser de l'eau. À 5 ans, il portait le récipient d'un enfant de 10 ans pour aller puiser l'eau. Le bois qu'il ramassait, c'était toujours les gros fagots. Mm -hmm. Il travaillait dur. Et en tant que grand frère, il était le grand frère le plus génial. Ah oui, euh, à ce moment-là, vu qu'il était le grand frère qui était, un peu, qui était éloigné, très éloigné de moi, il vivait à Douala, moi j'étais à Batier, qui fait que chaque fois qu'il était à Batier, il avait beaucoup d'intention. C'est moi. Il me gardait des petits trucs chaque fois, des biscuits, des petits trucs ouais, que les enfants aiment bien. Il voyait les films de, de boxe. Toujours, je le, on le refusait, il voyait toujours. Et il parlait toujours de, de, de euh, Marc euh, Et à un moment donné, il a dit à ses frères de l'appeler toujours Américain Boy. Quand sa petite sœur l'a appelé American Boy, je l'ai demandé que American Boy c'est qui Elle me dit que Francis a, euh, elle a dit de l'appeler toujours American Boy. J'ai dit que ma pardon, ne l'appelle plus jamais comme ça. We are in Riyadh. At the moment, see, we have been waiting for this time for like three years, so. Here to experience it and to live it. <laughs> we came to take all. Uh, to uh, finish the camp with uh, with family around, um, which is the first time, something that I always wanted and couldn't. Uh, most of the time, uh, uh, due of uh, visa issue and also logistic. But uh, this time everything was, everything came together to make it happen. So it was quite satisf satisfying, you know, all those time in Vegas. Uh, yet I still trying to get some people come and help me, me in Vegas and it didn't work out. But uh, I was, my consolation was the fact that I knew that we are going to meet in Saudi. And uh, by the time I arrived, they were here already. and. They're gonna stay here or until the fight. Uh, for the moment, I'm very calm. Yeah, during this preparation, I'm very, I'm very calm. Yeah, I don't know what will happen that evening, but I know that there will be a mix of emotions that evening. Yeah, maybe uh, uh, fear and many other emotions. There will be a mix of emotions, but for the moment, I don't know. I cannot just jump in that moment. It will be the first time, so I don't know. <laughs> I've been uh, visualizing all those moments over and over, like trying to visualize the fight night, the energy in the arena, which I'm definitely certain is going to be electric. À l'heure du combat, euh, je pense que euh, 
le coup de poing qu'on va donner sur lui, ça, ça doit beaucoup me faire peur. Je pense avoir la victoire. Parce que euh, c'est aussi une femme qui a accouché Tyson Fury. Comme j'ai accouché aussi Francis. Donc c'est comme... Je, je, je compte avoir la victoire. Là, je ne doute pas.